It's a busy off season at the Dakota Prairie Museum in Aberdeen. Tonight, Alan Scott gives you an inside look from our Aberdeen newsroom. Lots of interesting things going on at the Dakota Prairie Museum. The Lamont Gallery has just opened up and they're putting the finishing touches on a children's museum exhibit. The grand old building that houses the museum is at the corner of South Main and First Avenue Southeast and is constantly upgrading exhibits inside. The latest, entering its final stages of construction, is explained by Museum Director Patricia Kendall. It's going to be country school days, and you will be at home um, getting ready for school. You'll do your char chores in the barnyard. Um, you'll feed the chickens and, and, you know, tend to the garden. And then we have a little house where you will pack your lunch um, because, you know, you got your little pail and you're, you're going to put your potato in there and your sandwich or whatever else you're taking. The schoolhouse in the exhibit will fit right in with that old country learning theme. And you'll make it to the one room schoolhouse that we'll have set up where it'll be um, reading, writing and arithmetic, but we'll do it in fun, interactive ways uh, that children can learn but have fun doing it. It's all about learning through um, doing and we found that to be the best way. One of the fun things about the museum is that they recycle material from the original building. For instance, the doors on the Lamont Gallery are the long-stored original front doors of the building. Patricia, the museum's director, talks about what's on display now behind those original front doors. One of the features of our Lamont Gallery that we have right now, Life in Miniature, is the Longfellow House, which some people are familiar with. That's that large yellow house. Uh, right now it's on North Main Street in Aberdeen, but it's a copy of the Longfellow House from New England. And many people have copied this house, but we have a dollhouse version of it that was created for the family that lived in the Aberdeen Longfellow House in the 1960s. Well, you just saw the miniature at the museum. Thought maybe you'd like to see the real thing. In Aberdeen, Alan Scott, Dakota News Now.